Yo, Yo, Machi 2007 back at you with another one. And we're going to take a look at one of these Rebel Ratchets today. This is out here. This is women supporting women. The sisterhood sticking together. Uh, black men don't protect black women, but it looks like we got to protect them from black women shooting them. Let's uh, get into this and hear what they Church's talk about. chicken. A worker is shot dead at a church's chicken in Memphis overnight, and police have released photos of the woman they say killed this worker. That woman in the car. Memphis police say she killed that drive through That worker at that church is around uh, after 9 o'clock. This is the churches on Park Avenue. There's a full picture of her. That victim went to Regional 1 in critical condition and didn't make it. Again, look at that picture. Memphis police say if you know who she is and where she is, <clears throat> to give them a call. All right, so she went, and hit, she went and hit out for some days. And as they said, that's in Orange Mound. Uh, if you're not familiar, that's a part of Memphis. Well, eight ball and MJG are from if you don't know anything else. But um, it's like a you you it's it's near the Liberty Bowl if you've ever been to Memphis to go to the Liberty Bowl for one of the classics or anything. Uh, off of Airways Boulevard if you're traveling towards the Liberty Bowl on Airways Orange Mound, it's like off to your right when you get close down by the Liberty Bowl. I live in Nashville, but I used to go to Memphis a lot, particularly for the TSU Jackson games where my Tigers would beat up on the baby blue Tigers of Jackson State. We ain't going to talk about that right now. We're going to hear what this next guy uh, from Orange Mountain has to say. They're going to give you a little bit more of what's happening in the case. It was after he tuned in to WREG. I heard about it on the news uh, last night, and it was very sad. Knowing this area was now at the center of a homicide investigation. To see and hear that a young lady got killed on her job, trying to make a living for herself police say a female worker here got that's women supporting women with bullets into an argument with another woman in the drive through lane detectives say the employee walked outside to quote get some air without warning shots were fired sadly the female worker did not survive well so the early word was that uh this woman killed another woman over chicken it's like oh my goodness this is it's over a chicken order, which is, of course, of the utmost ridiculous. I think we've come to find out that these women had some personal history. Um, and she might have gone there just to argue with her in the first place. I mean, she might have been at the drive through window just because she knew the victim was in the drive through window. But let's see if we can get the story. Uh, well, let's get some background first on the on the victim here. But before we take a look at that, please take a moment to like me up. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And we're going to get right back to the program. And I want to look at, I was looking for the video, but could not find, uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I was looking for the video, but could not find the video of the conversation that the news station had with the ex-husband who has a uh, daughter with the victim. And he was saying that he was uh, getting, uh, trying to get back with her at the time. Um, and he was talking about, you know, he was basically saying this is not about uh, this. The killing wasn't over chicken. It wasn't over an order. He was saying he knows the shooter that he grew up. Um, they, she grew up down the street from them, at least from him anyway. Um, he, he, I don't think he knew her well, but he knows her. And so these people are all from, I guess, the same part of Memphis. And they all knew each other. So I believe this. The victim and the shooter knew each other before the shooting, so I doubt it was over chicken. It was probably over some other foolishness, uh, though. For whatever reason it was, it was of no good reason. And there he is. That's the victim. They got the child. Their child blurred out. So that's that part of it. So of course they figured out who the killer was. We got the clear picture of her, the clear video of her. Her name is Monica Williams, forty-five year old. 45 years old ratchet chick in the streets. This is what they got out there for us. And uh, she's all goofy. Here she is. Uh, we can see uh, that's her in court. Her goofy pit. Oh, ah, this is actually the one with the uh, that I was looking for. That's the husband there, the ex-husband. That preview clip of just seeing him for that second let me know this was the video he's in, so here it goes. Lorenzo West Jr., Anitra's former husband, says anyone aiding Williams at this time should be convicted as well. 
I'm just glad that they issued a warrant for her arrest. You know, like they need to issue a warrant for everybody that was hiding her or helping her not get caught. I don't know what Tennessee's rules are about the the death penalty. You know, but when you, I, that would be laws, brother, not rules, not administrative rules, laws. I believe that. We keep killing each other because they're not being punished. Williams is accused of shooting West over a disputed order at the church's chicken drive through Lorenzo says his family has known Williams since childhood. I had family live directly down the street from where she grew up at, so like first cousins and stuff. So it's a, Orange Mound is a small community, you know. It's very rare that, you know, people this age in our age group don't know each other, you know, because we went to we either went to elementary school, middle school, or high school together. Lorenzo wants to set the record straight. He says he believes the shooting stemmed from a personal argument, not a dispute over chicken. I know if Nietzsche was too important to be killed about some food. It wasn't about no food. It was somebody something somebody took personal. So now let's hear this story. I felt like it had to have been some type of setup, to be honest, because how does she even have this big old Jason knife on her already? Israel Britt Taylor says Monica Williams attacked her in Orange Mound in 2004. Britt Taylor says she was eight months pregnant at the time. She says her son's father called her over to give her money. She says as she was driving away, Williams hit her car with a large tree branch. She approached me. We was in an altercation. I'm trying to get her away from me, but I'm not going to lie. I beat the, you know what? I fought her. I fought up off me. Next thing I know, she was stabbing me. Britt Taylor says the stress from that fight resulted in her son's umbilical cord getting wrapped around his neck. She says she was rushed to the hospital and her baby was delivered via C-section. I didn't even know about this chick. And she told the detective she was willing to kill me for this guy. And I wouldn't even date my ex at the time. Records show William served three years for the attack. So clearly, this uh, Nita Williams is a menace. But uh, this other woman, uh, uh, Israel, it, they said that she, when she was driving away, her car was hit with a tree branch. But then you end up fighting her. If you're in your car, how are you fighting somebody when you're pregnant? So basically, you got out of your car to fight in the street like a hood rat. And got your baby strangled. You basically, you killed your baby so you could fight in the street like a, a back alley cat. 45 years old with gold fronts in your mouth. Baby hairs and tarantulas on your eyes. Still out here at, at half a century trying to be thuggy. Okay. These are the women out here. These are the strong and independent women. Of course, they don't need no man running around having babies all over the place, being uh, hood ratchet, rebellious, strong, independent women. I don't know why this woman Israel wanted to come out and tell that story. I would never know, want nobody to know that, that I let my baby get killed so I could fight in the street like an animal instead of protect my child and drive off. But anyway, this uh, Monica Williams is clearly what we might say uh, is a big problem. She is clearly a thug among women. And a danger. And a big danger. And this is the kind of foolishness we've got running around out here. I mean, it's not really too much else that needs to be said. This is out of But in the end, this is strong black women culture. This is I don't need no man. I can be both father and mother culture. This is ghetto culture, a culture of women raised women, a culture and of neighborhoods that are female led neighborhoods with women's chaotic mind states and mentalities running those neighborhoods. They are the leaders of that microcosm of society. This is woman-led society, and this is what it looks like. This is what women leading women produces. It produces these women fighting in the street, killing babies over uh, talking to their boyfriend. Their boyfriend, not their husband even. 
this is the result of women leading women and being strong women and don't need no man and women can do it all and let's let the women run it and this is what women run this is what it looks like this is what it looks like Ianla was on the breakfast club and she was speaking about black women masculinity and the conversations around black women and masculinity and she said black women are men in skirts these days like we're too aggressive um trying to take the place of men in the relationship and we're removing men's ability to man i think it's a more well-rounded conversation that you have to have in terms always a pushback always an excuse always there's there's some what about ism can never be any accountability can never just call it what it is it's a problem and this is what the problem leads to. And eventually it, chickens come home to roost. So it's coming back to now black women are shooting black women in the street over absolute foolishness, over absolutely nothing. Like, subscribe, notification bell if you will. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.